peeps. How y'all doing today? You doing good? Enjoying your weekend? You ate good? You had a nice workout today? Huh? <laughs> so yeah, y'all. Said your prayers this morning. Did you do that? No, I'm just but anyways, today is Saturday, July 1st, y'all, new month. Don't tell me these months ain't going by fast. July 1st at 4.55 in the p.m. So, yeah, it's Saturday. Um, I had to go out today. I went by my daughter's house to see my grandbaby. Oh, she's a little y'all. Oh, I should have took a picture. Man. I was tired though by the time I got to her house, but I get a picture. Excuse me. But anyway, yeah, she's so little. Her name's Soraya. Soraya Marie. Soraya Marie. So yeah, I went to see her, spent some of the time with her, held her. She mostly slept. I woke up a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> she's so little. She was seven pounds, but she she long though. That's the thing. So y'all. I got looks like headache. Um, I'm just tired. Then it's just been hot, y'all. These eighties I declare been feeling like nineties. I don't know. And we ain't gonna even talk about this heat. But um uh, we not too long got through eating. We had chicken nuggets, Ren cut chicken nuggets and baked beans. She ain't got to, just got through cleaning the table. The sonny gotta wash dishes in, they're washing dishes. So yeah. But I want to finish that part. I just wanna finish reading this. This is pretty interesting and pretty good. So I want to finish the rest of this read with y'all. We're going to finish this together. Okay. So, yeah. And, um. Again, we're on chapter four. Mm-hmm. That's where we at. And I stopped midway. Get ready to finish from there on down. I pay attention to that nail. <laughs> I'll I be pulling the polish off. The rest of them are pretty decent. But I be doing so much. Nail polish don't stay on my fingernails like that. Okay, so. Let's get ready to get into this read, y'all. Y'all ready? Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Say sexual problems are quite common because many women don't have a clear grasp of a God's view is on the subject. But the Bible is crystal clear. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. You heard? <laughs> Do not deprive one another except well con con consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. And come together again so, so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. So, I guess you know within your own marriage how long is too long. 1 Corinthians 7, 4 through 5. That's in the Bible. 1 Corinthians. Sex between a husband and wife is God's idea. Unless we're fasting and praying for weeks at a time or are experiencing physical infirmity 
or a separation. All the other one all gone. Well, it's in my room in the closet on the floor. That was the son. He get he get ready to make the mop water. Okay, sex between a husband and wife is God's idea. Unless we're fasting and praying for weeks at a time or are experiencing physical infirmity or separation, there's no excuse not to engage in it regularly. Y'all know what y'all regularly mean. Y'all know. Everybody out ain't on regularly. I don't like that word. I don't like that L Y. I don't like it's on with my tongue and L Y S. But everybody marriage is different. So everybody have a regularly when we're married, our bodies are not our own. We owe each other physical attention, and we're not to deprive one another. The frequency of sex depends on the other person's need, not ours alone. If your attitude about having sex comes down to only what you need or what you don't want, then you don't have God's perspective. Ooh. He says our body is to be used to comfort and complete the other person. Something is built up in a man in a marriage when his need is met by his wife. Something is diminished when it is not. You leave yourselves open for temptation and far more destruction than you can imagine. Well, a lot of us know that now, you know, just if it's just looking at other people around you, friends, the certain people in your family, we know. You leave yourselves open for temptation and far more destruction than you can imagine when this area of intimate communication is neglected. It can happen to anyone. And that's why the sexual aspect of your marriage and your husband's sexuality needs to be covered in prayer. And it is best to start praying about it before you have to. If your husband desires sex more frequently and you are the one keeping it from happening, pray for God to help you change your ways. I found that the most difficult time to deal with the issue of sex is when the children are small and can't do much for themselves. By the time you get them in bed, you are exhausted and ready to drop. You're thinking about getting to sleep as soon as possible while your husband has been making other plans for you. Wow. Your options are to totally your options are to totally shut him down and say, forget about it, I'm tired, or communicate how exhausted you are and hope he'll say, no problem, you get some rest. Or proceed with a bad attitude and make you feel guilty or angry. Wow. Ooh. But I found a fourth option which works much better. Try this one and see if it doesn't work for you. I'm in right there, y'all. Wow, this is getting good. This is getting deep, y'all. I feel some type of way now. <laughs> But, and I didn't even finish reading all of that because like I said, she had a lot of little something to say about this part. So, and I think it's good because it's bringing a lot of insight into the man and his needs and how it really works for him and what it really means for him and our role and our part that we play into providing those needs and um just being on the same page with each other and just communicating when you don't feel i mean everybody had their own you know how they own way in their marriage but that's why it's best to you know always be able to talk about things in your marriage so if you is having one of those days or you feel like it have been longer than expected and you can feel it within yourself you tell them why Maybe he'll understand. Hopefully he'll understand. But now if you're kind of using that as an excuse over and over, he'll be like, you said that last time. You said that last time. It ain't going to work. But if it's just one of those times where you could just be having so much stuff on your mind, dealing with a lot of stuff, and you're just not there. 
you know, physically there, mental there. He should understand that part. But, uh, you know, besides all that, you kind of know, you know, you kind of get that established in the beginning of a relationship how it's going to be going down. You know, once you be married for a while, of course, it ain't going to be going down as it was in the beginning, especially if you was younger when y'all got together and you done got older, like 20-something years later. But it still had to go down nevertheless. But, yeah, when you're having those moments and stuff, you know, just talk to them. Men are understanding to a certain point. But when you talk to him, you just feel like he ain't trying to hit that. You got to just like, oh, well, that didn't work. He ain't feeling this one this time. Let me just go and do what I'm here to do. Meet my husband need, you know, because he needy right now. He need me right now. <laughs> This is a very uncomfortable topic, but it's also a very important topic to talk about, for real. You know, I don't really like touching on these type of subjects like that, but, I mean, obviously, if you're married, it's okay. It's just, it's just really, like, uncomfortable for me. <laughs> Well, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get through this, y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying. But, because as I talk about it and read about it, it can be kind of like, oh, okay. You know, I fall short. You know, man, I know I do. But I thank God that I, my husband understand me. But after a while, I feel it. And I be like, well, it is what it is you know y'all feeling me right so i hope y'all enjoyed that read and my little input with that read if it made any sense because that is really like a touchy uncomfortable cover like a topic for me so yeah i'll be kind of hitting this and talking around because it's just uncomfortable to talk about that you know, it's different when you read it to yourself, but when you kind of like ah, putting it out there for a people, yeah, you know, like, wow, then I got kids around, and I'm trying to talk low, and then a hubby in a room, he probably listening, like, mm, I heard you say that, now read that part again. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all, yeah, so I guess that's about it. I'm, um, they want to go to the park. My son-in-law, the hubby, and my sonny, they want to play a game of basketball tomorrow. So the hubby said he don't care, but I got to see. I got to text my daughter and see uh, what they want to do since the uh, so-called Independence Day coming up and uh, people off work and everything. Yeah, but this going to be my Sunday video. Hopefully my Sunday video, y'all, because I've been just regrouping, just trying to, like, and I've just really been chilling, like, this kind of been my first full week of not have to, having no school and everything, so it's just been kind of, just, I've really been in, like, chill mode, but yeah, on that note, y'all, I guess that's it, so... I see y'all. I should be seeing you Sunday. And after that, I see you later on in the week. And I hope everybody be safe out here and be wise out here. Read your Bible, pray, do something, feed yourself some spiritual food, y'all. On that note, I'm out. Peace and love. Share a song. And I holla. Bye, y'all. Your girl is tired. But I needed to do this video because I don't think I put up a video in a minute. And tomorrow I'll probably be busy. So, yeah. All right. <laughs>